Disney's Little League fields were packed tonight with players, coaches, and fans making their way to their local ball fields. In Burlington, the teams are dealing with an issue on the field that makes it unsafe. Discarded hypodermic needles. NBC 5's Tyler Boronski is live at Callahan Park in Burlington with more on what organizers say they're dealing with right now. Tyler? Yeah, Brian Alzo, coaches with the Burlington American Little League, say they came here a couple weeks before one of their first practices, and they were shocked by what they saw. Before these Burlington Little League coaches could collect wins, they've had to collect something else. There's a needle cap. The start to their baseball season is one they won't forget for the wrong reasons. The players got in here before the coaches did, and they shoved all their gear into the boxes, and then one of the coaches came and said, I found a needle on the bench. And we were like, whoa. And so we came in here and you know took everything out and found all these needles behind the players' bags and helmets. And it set off like, you know, a lot of alarm. That dangerous discovery hasn't been isolated to one day. In the last month, coaches have found 20 used needles and numerous used condoms around the fields at Callahan Park. It's got them taking matters into their own hands, making a safety policy requiring coaches to come early before the kids get there to sweep the fields and safely get rid of anything hazardous they see. Our, our focus is on player safety um, and so we just have been like let's just make sure to take care of the kids and you know hopefully there's a longer term solution but you know our season started and we have a game or a practice on both these fields every day um, if not more than one so you know we're just like being as diligent as we can be. Organizers and frustrated parents have told the city about the issue they are having to start the conversation about what can be done. For us, priority one is, is awareness and to have that dialogue. And while city officials figure out a long-term solution, coaches will continue to do what they can. Many of those people are members of this specific baseball community and this specific park community, and they can volunteer too. They can come down and pick days that they want to come and sweep the field. So the focus can go back on the kids and having fun on the baseball diamond. We take a lot of pride in, in focusing on teaching the kids about being good teammates and being good sportsmen and, and uh, athletes. And, um, and the fact that we're having to talk to them about don't, you know, look for this needle and don't touch it if you see it is, uh, is really tragic. And if you would like to help volunteer to sweep the fields, we have the contact info listed on our website, mynbc5.com. Live in Burlington, Tyler Bronski, NBC5 News.